What's up, VC? Um, just got something in the mail. Something in the mail. Anyways, um, the other night I was on YouTube, kind of late night, and uh, or early morning, whatever you want to call it. And um, Chad, who owns Acoustic Sounds, I hope I'm, I, I might be getting this wrong, but I hope, hopefully not. He was saying, hey, we had this, he had bought this archive from Michael Hobson in 2010. I guess he owned Classic Records. They had bought Classic Records in 2010, and they got the archive with it. So anyways, they said they were going to post the archive online. So I was, I went, the, they just posted the video, like a, maybe like an hour before I stumbled upon it. So I ordered something from that archive. And the mailman kind of just tossed on the porch. I'm like, I haven't been in the front yard when the mailman walked up and, and I should just hand him hand it to me like dude it's a holy grail you're holding there and he just tossed it on the porch <sighs> all right let that one go let it go you know what I mean but this one's scary this one's scary box goes on that side box part of the you can see part of the record you can see part of the holy grail see why I'm a little freaking out all right so so I guess we'll just open it from this side because this is the record's kind of peeking out already. Let's just try. I want to try here. Let's just come on. Still go conventional. Let's go normal. Hey, it says fragile all over this damn thing. Okay, not all over, but it does say fragile. That's fragile in Italian. Oh wow. Okay, luckily. There's, the tape on that side is all that was really keeping this intact. So this, oh my gosh, did they make this? Sorry, sorry, so my dog's like, really? Okay, so this box is a little intimidating. So, this guy, when Classic Records put out, started making all this high-end vinyl, or whatever you want to call it, these super vinyl, handmade, 200 gram. He kept the first two pressing, and he numbered them, one and two. And, wow, okay. So, this is from 97. Band of Gypsies, 200 gram. Um, yeah, we all know what Band of Gypsies is. It, it says, classic archive, classic records, two of two archive. And I have a copy of Band of Gypsies, but I don't have this copy. And, um... I'm going to be playing this, because that's why I got it, and, um, wow, super, super excited that I got this, well, alright guys, you know me, I can ramble on about a stain on a t-shirt for about three days, so, luckily, the mailman just tossed it, just tossed, deep breath. I, and I had a feeling like I handed it to me. You know what I mean? I mean, when I'm. I, I, it caught me off surprise. It's changing the brake light cover. I was like, oh, wait, he has a box. And I'm, we'll just set him. He set him put it down on the porch to be fine. I think he's probably going to toss it on the porch. And he's like, <laughs> not like hard toss. Not a hard toss. Not a throw. But it was like a light drop. So now I got to install cameras on the porch. And uh, notify me. I'm gonna get that ring bell thing. Notify me when the mailman so I can just hey, hey, hey. we want to put a little basket with padding and tell tell the mailman if the rec if the box is sh box is shaped like it is holding vinyl. Place here. Anyways, got this from the Michael Hobson archive collection that the dude from Acoustic Sounds acquired when he bought. Classic records. It was like an archive of 3,000 records that they kept in a room that was temperature controlled room. A room that was temperature controlled room. And, uh, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna be real though. I've 
when I first scrolled, there was so much stuff I got overwhelmed. And I don't, I, you know, I mean, we're all on a budget here. So I went online to see if I could sell my soul for a few hundred, a few hundred more dollars. But no, anyways. So just out of curiosity, I'm like, I wonder if they have Kenny Burrell, Midnight Blue. They did. They had one. You know, there was like the only one. He was only selling like well, I think they're still keeping one and selling one. So there was like two of the two that he kept, and it was uh, it was up there. I was like, by the time I had the courage, you know, I mean, to muster up, because I really didn't know. I was like, what do I, you know, I mean, I'm, you know, it was gone. It was gone. I should have. So looking back, I probably would have got both. But so luckily, this was still up there. I was like, all right, yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry to the record gods that I paused, but that's the name of the game. So, but I got at least one, and uh, it's kind of neat that it's from that collection, I guess. But I'm just looking forward to hearing a good version of this. I already have a great version. There's one little speck on the whole album, one little speck that you can't. I haven't tried to get off. I mean, I've tried to, but it, it's one of those things where I'm almost afraid to let my new turntable's needle drag to that speck. You know, it's a tiny speck. Don't get me wrong, and I'm probably overreacting to that little speck. But now I got this. And like I said, I'll ramble on about a stain for three or five days. I'm still talking about this record. So anyways, I'm excited. What's up? What did you get in the mail? I got it. Uh, I got this. Later. Stay positive. It's been vinyl. Um, you know, on the whole like and subscribe thing, I feel like if you really like my episode, you're automatically going to like and subscribe. Right? And if it's a, if like, if you're like, all right, this dude's a, t like, whatever, this dude's a goofball. I don't really even, I'm not really entertained by his, which is, you're right. You wouldn't like and subscribe if I told you at the end of the video, like and subscribe, would you? I don't know. These are the things as my weird brain contemplates before I fall asleep at 5 a.m. in the night. Anyways, so my point is like and subscribe. So that's where I'm going with this one. All right, guys. Later. Bye.